Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. Let me adjust my hat slightly off. Uh, we got a great subject for today. So... I think there's a little bit of confusion uh, based on some emails I'm getting on when is the actual start to flower. Like after we've turned our our lights to 12-12, how long is it before we actually start counting flowers? So that's what we're going to talk about today. And if you want, we'll probably at the end, if you want to stick around, we might talk about like when seedling stage ends and when veg begins and when veg ends. So uh, stick around. That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, as always, it's the intro. Everybody's favorite part. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, all the subscriptions and everything like that, liking, commenting, watching the full video, all helps the channel out a ton. We all know that YouTube is no fan of us kind of content creators, so when you do all that stuff, it actually really does help out the channel a lot. Remember, turn on the bell notifications so YouTube will sometimes remind you that we uploaded a video. All right, if you haven't yet, you should join our Patreon. Uh, we got tons of cool benefits, all kinds of tiers. And you get a direct link to me, GT, and we can talk just like this. We're back. <laughs> Phone started ringing. Sorry. My apologies. Um, so, guys, check out our Patreon. There's You can find a link to it in the video description below. All right. And last but not least, here's a commercial from Mars Hydro. Kind of cool stuff. Guys, if you're looking for any kind of new light, new tint, new whatever, check out Mars Hydro. This is actually the second way the channel makes money. It's not as much as the Patreon, but it's still uh, a nice little bump. Uh, if you use the code WTTGT whenever you check out, you will uh, we will get a nice kickback and you will get a nice discount at checkout for any kind of new lights, new tents, new vans, etc. Mars Hydro pretty much makes anything you could want for your tent. They pretty much make uh, to help you grow. Uh, they've got great products. We've been using them for years. They've been the main chance supporter of the channel since we had only 500 subscribers. They've been a, a supporter of the channel and a sponsor. So thanks again, uh, Mars Hydro. Please remember to use the link in the video description below. Use our code, get a discount. We get kickback. Much appreciated. All right, that's enough. Okay. Woo! All right, so we're back. Thanks for sitting through those commercials or skipping through them, whatever you wanted to do. I don't really care, but thank you for sitting through them. Okay, so today I've had uh, some emails, and anytime I get emails that focus on, or I get you know a few emails on the same subject, I'm like, hey, might as well just do a video to address it. So the question I've been getting uh, a few times lately, it's not a ton, but I do I do definitely get the question, is when do you actually start counting your weeks of flower? So you've changed your lights from 12-12, they were in veg, so they were at 18-6. If you're on autoflowers, you're not concerning yourself with any of this because the autoflower does all this by itself. But when do we actually start counting like hey this is the start of week one are you doing it directly after you change the lights are you waiting until you actually start to see pistol hairs develop we're on the buds when are you actually starting to count your weeks of flower i'm going to tell you about it uh whenever i do it and then i'm going to tell you the reasons why i do it one way and i do not do it the other way and uh, if you follow along with that you'll we won't ever run into any problems <laughs> okay so there's the basically the two methodologies of when you start counting flower just like we had just previously discussed whether it's you know you start week one the day after you flip the lights to 12 12 or you wait until you see white pistol hairs i'm going to tell you right now flower starts the day after you flip them to, the day after you change the lights to 12 12 there's no exceptions you've started flowers the i don't count the same day that i flip them because they still had that extended light period of time but the first time I give the plants a full 12 hours of sleep, uh, I'm going to count that as day one of flower. Now, you can, like, I know some people that like to do 24 hours of darkness instead of just flipping the lights from uh, 18.6 to 12.12. They'll give them, like, a full day of darkness and then start counting. That's fine, too. I've done it. I've done 24 hours of darkness. I've done 48 hours of darkness. Uh, it does seem to activate flower just a, a touch quicker, but you can just flip to 12.12 and you'll be just fine. And the reason I like to do it, or the reason I like to start counting uh, my flower uh, as in flower the day after is because that is the, 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 
the process the plant is going through has already started to happen. And the reasons we like to count them that week is, one, the first three weeks of flower are called the stretch. So whether you want to count the first three weeks of flower as flower, they are technically in flower. That first week, week one, is a transition week. And then week two and week three are really the start of, the, or are the meat and potatoes of the stretch. So you've got week one of flower, nothing really happens. But week two and week three are the stretch, which those are very big important moments in the flower uh, cycle. So we start the count there and then we move on based from that. The other way that you do this is people say, well, I wait until the white pistol hair show up. Well, if you do that, it throws off your nutrient schedule. Those nutrient schedules like that you get on the package, those are built based on you are starting those feeding schedules based on you turn to like 12-12 the week one if you were feeding that week uh we'll say this is the nutrient schedule if you delay that by three weeks and we're going to talk about why people do this uh why they delay the start of flower so if you delay the start of flower and the flowers technically by the time you start feeding it uh in week three or even week four before you start counting flower uh, basically it'll be week three but it, you are off now on that feeding schedule so you're going to feed it week one nutrients when the flower is technically going into week four of flower but you're still feeding it week one because you delayed the onset of flower and now you're going to be giving your plants the wrong nutrients based on what week they are in their actual lifespan but you're still feeding them like they're earlier in their time frame and I'm telling you right now, this is going to cost you end weight, yield, and quality by doing it this way. And we're going to talk about why people do it this way. It's a very simple reason. Uh, it's one our egos make us do. So if I am growing my plant, and it's basically you get a jump start on what your plant actually is versus the week that it's in. So if your grow isn't going the way you hoped or your plants are usually not as big as they should be and we give it, we're in week three of flower, week four of flower, we're like, oh yeah, we just started week one flower. Look at the development on this plant already. It's all bullshit. So people will be like, oh yeah, so this is my plant in week two of flower. Meanwhile, it's really in week five of flower, but they're going to say it's week two because they didn't count it for three weeks whenever they first went into flower. So they're like, oh yeah, look at the development I got. And this plant's only in week two of flower. It's all bullshit. It's a lie. That is not what the plant actually looks like. That is not what the development of the plant actually looks like. They're saying this, so whenever they put their pictures up on Grow Diaries or when they're showing pictures to people on their Instagram or wherever they're showing it to them, it's just so that the plant had more developmental time because maybe, one, their plant didn't look as good as it was supposed to look whenever it was in week two, week three, you know, of flower. So now by giving them themselves this jump start or this delayed start on when they started counting their weeks, just because you don't count the weeks didn't mean doesn't mean they didn't happen. So whenever we've transitioned the lights, start your countdown. You'll keep your food on time uh, because if you look down those dosages, the levels of the stuff changes a lot during from week one of flower to week three of flower, and especially when you start getting into week four of flower. Well, if just because I decide that I'm not going to start counting flower doesn't mean that's what the plant decided. The plant doesn't care what you decided. It still wants those nutrients in the different dosages at the certain times. Just because you blanked three weeks in the middle of your grow and you're like, oh yeah, these three weeks don't count. It doesn't fly. It doesn't work. It's not serving you. And it's only going to affect your end yield. Start your count at the, at the, you know, the day after you switch the lights. Keep to your schedule. You'll have better results in the end. I promise you. And who cares what, you know, what people say about your stuff. Don't post it on Instagram for that reason then, you know. But anybody that grows, we can tell by how your plant looks versus what weeks you, you're saying it's in. So if you got a plant that has got really developed pistil hairs and the bud structure is already forming, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is week one of flower. None of us, we all know it's not true. <laughs> all right. All right. That's my soapbox for the day, <laughs> guys. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, you can put it into practice, implement it. Um, if you have any more questions, 
feel free to put them in the comment section below. I read all the comments and who knows, I might make a video on your topic. Probably. I like to make videos on comments. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, and also stay tuned, guys. This week we got episode four or part four. Not, uh, either way, episode four, part four of the feminizing exotic bird food uh, plants, making new lines <laughs> dropping tomorrow or Tuesday. No, it's tomorrow, Monday. So it's going to drop tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. YouTube's not going to give you a notification about it because it's going to have plants in it. So I'll see you there. So make sure you're paying attention. And uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic week. I'll see you later. GT, out.